Hey guys, so I have some explaining to do before we get into this video. This video is obviously on The Summer I Turned Pretty Season 2. This is the first three episodes. This will be a part one to a two part video. We all know what's happening. With the SAG strike going on, I made a post saying that I wasn't going to do any videos on new projects. This is going to be the only exception because I have been working on this since before the strike even happened. Yes, The Summer I Turned Pretty Season 2 just released on the 17th but i've been rereading writing stuff i've been working on this video for a while and it's been what i've been working on since like about two weeks before the strike happened so i'm still gonna release this part and i will not be releasing a, the second part until sag is met with their demands to have fair wages i wanted to let that be known from now on after this video i'll be posting video essays ranking videos uh, maybe some letterbox reviews so there's not going to be any videos on new projects after this video um, but i just want to make that known i wanted to get that video out for you guys and this is the only thing that i've been working on for basically all of july so i wanted to post this at least thank you guys for being understanding i stand in complete solidarity with sag and everyone who is striking actors and writers and everyone involved in movie making should be getting paid a livable wage uh, the movie making business is all done in the one of the most expensive places to live in and for them not to have fair wages to live in that city where they have to work in is ridiculous um <laughs> And without movies and without everyone that works on movies, I wouldn't be able to make the content that I do. So of course I stand in full solidarity with them and no videos on new projects until their demands are met. Thank you guys for understanding and I hope you guys continue to watch even when with no new release movie commentaries. Anyways, let's get into the video. Last commentary. There's no other way to start this video other than saying, just go watch the first one. There's gonna be links everywhere. Today, we're gonna be watching The Summer I Turned Pretty season two. This video is going to be in two parts, so keep your eye out for the second part coming soon right after the finale. Dude, I've been missing that little jingle jangle. Dream sequence to start off the season. I hate you and I hope you die. I actually hate the toes. <laughs> Guys, I'm like already blushing. I wasn't in Cousins. Conrad and I weren't together. And Susanna was dead. I couldn't even have like one second. Like I couldn't even have one second of joy. I had maybe 30 seconds before you hit me with that. I knew they were going to. It's how the second book starts it's very like the tone has shifted let's get right into it i love this no i love it this is so awesome i want to i have like chills i don't know why i just like, love them together damn loud ass background noises can i just point that out on a like production scale the background wind is loud as fuck everyone in our house knows that i've had a crush on you Ever since, like... Wait, 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 wait. You have a crush on me? Oh, shut up. Yeah. Sorry, he's just, like, so, like, he he's so confident. It just makes me, like, oh, my God, I love you. He might not even be that upset, you know? It's Jer. He never takes anything too seriously. It's not... It's not like how it is with us. You're freaking right. You're absolutely right. Anyone who ships Jeremiah and Belly are actually, like, so dumb. I'm sorry. I'm actually gonna throw my laptop out my window right now because this is like all I've ever wanted for so long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, Susanna always knew, but like, whatever. I mean, we know why she always knew. I'm gonna go... Okay. I'm sick, pause. I'm sick. I'm actually sick. Because it's like, this for what? Like, right? Like, I've won... I've won. I've won the freaking battle, but for what? It all goes to shit in like 30 seconds. Like I'm trying to be happy because I love them together. I love Conrad and Belly together. I've been that way since I read books. Even during the second book where everyone was like, 
for Conrad. I was still with him. I was still on his freaking side. I never liked her with Jeremiah. I always thought it was this like weird, like weird love triangle that wasn't really a love triangle because no love triangle is ever really a love triangle. Love triangles aren't real. They're a myth made up by authors to make it seem like they have more complex writing skills than they do. Whoa, 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 whoa. When they're casting these people, when they're casting the actors, they make sure one actor has more chemistry with Lola. You kissed my brother. I'm sorry. I He's already crying. I'm like actually sick. I'm glad it finally happened for you, Belly. It's great timing. It's not like my mom has cancer or anything. But like both of y'all's mom has cancer. Now can you please get out? The finger gun. Can you get out? Can you get out? Just so you know, he's gonna break your heart. Okay, the thing is, is that Jeremiah is like kind of valid, right? Like, I thought we had something going. You're just using me as a placeholder for my brother. Like, I get it. Like, I am trying so hard to be like, but like, here's why he's wrong. But he's like not really wrong, like, for like how he feels. Cause like, if someone did that to me, like, I'd be like so upset. Yeah, Conrad and Jeremiah too. They were busy. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, what was that? Steven. Us being together would make that impossible. Belly, come on. I can't do that to him. She is so emotionally intelligent because that is like the most mature decision she's ever made in her life. After everyone has been calling her immature for the past season. That's my, that's my girl. That's my freaking girl. I love her. She defies all expectations of her. We'll still be infinite. It's, that's so they have fallen our stars of you to say. It's like turn the wind sound down, right? <laughs> it's like turn the wind sound and the beach ocean waves sound a little bit. It's like a little loud. Oh. I love that necklace on you. Connie told me everything that happened with the three of you. Messy. She's a hopper. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. I would do the same thing. If two hot brothers wanted me, of course I would go for both of them. <laughs> I think Suzanne would want you to share it with the world. She was always my biggest cheerleader. Guess now I have to be my own. I'm so stupid. I, in my first video, I really criticized the amount of time that they put on her and Susanna's relationship. And I take it back. I think that was a invalid criticism of the show because it is so vital to the second season. And I apologize for that. I take it back. I retract my statement. Oh, you're sick. Calling? I shouldn't have called. This was dumb. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. Um. Oh my god. He's just as flustered as her. She fell for him first, but he fell harder. <laughs> wasn't enough. You had to have Conrad, too. God, you are so fucking selfish. Steven! What? Are you serious? I had to have Conrad? Pause. I'm, like, so sorry. Like, I don't know why he's saying this, because it's, like... <laughs> <laughs> First of all, like Steven just makes it so weird. Like it's like literally not weird at all. And he makes it so awful. She literally, as soon as she made contact with Conrad, she was like, Jeremiah, like I have something to tell you. Like it's like really important. And she was honest with him and she told him immediately right after it happened. Like what, what more do you want? Other than him having his own personal feelings about being hurt by it, like go for it. Like they didn't hide it from him. They didn't sneak around. They didn't do it behind his back. She wasn't two timing them. As soon as she kissed Conrad, she knew Conrad was the one for her, and she said, hey, Jeremiah, I kissed Conrad, blah, blah, blah. Like, what else more do you want from her? She's just a girl. She's just a freaking girl. What do you, what more could you possibly want, Steven? And where's your girlfriend? I mean, it's your boyfriend's debut, and I just, I just need to go to bed. The acting turned up a freaking notch this season. She freaking owned that. I'm sorry, like, I like to admit, I love seeing the growth within characters. I know they get a lot of shit for their acting, so I like to praise the moments where they really knock it out of the park. And Lola freaking killed that scene. 
car crash this is so women core by the way there is nothing more perfect than listening to this song specifically while driving and like s severely sobbing your eyes out done it multiple times he's been on this high ever since he got made homecoming king that's great so um he's over yeah Billy. i don't think i could ever get over you <laughs> he's like him you know how he just got over you? I could like actually never do that. That is like the funniest dialogue to be like, see how my brother just got over you like that? Like I could never do that. Just remember that, that I could never like move on from you. Like my brother did, like I could never do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. They have it. They have it in the bag. That's an MTV best couple award right there. I'll do it. Oh! What the fuck? Last kiss? Of course, of course they would use last kiss. Of course they would use last kiss. Am I dumb? Why wasn't I expecting this? Oh, so I watch your life in pictures like I used to watch you sleep. Oh my god, if they put that part in the freaking show, oh my god, it would have been it would have been over for your headphones. I think I'm gonna go to Brown in the morning and see if I can track him down. I already know where he is. I already know where he is, and I'm not even his brother or his like girlfriend. He's at the beach. I got you this. Um, I'm good, thanks. Um thanks for coming all this way. He's such a bitch for no reason. I mean, there is a reason. I know I just forgot what happens in between here and the last, I, f I forget what happens between this and the flashbacks, but he's such a bitch even still. Yeah, it, it definitely was. Like he was always looking at your picture on his phone. Oh, Jeremiah, you pissed me off. You ruined every good moment. That was such a cute moment and you fucking pissed me off. It's only been a month since. It's only been a month and everyone is like so hard on everyone. They're all being so relentless with each other. You're crazy for putting on this song and showing his face when she says that line. It's like, shut up. <laughs> shut the hell up. He kind of looks scary. The summer I turned pretty horror edition and like if we, we need the girl that edits the trailers into horror movies, edit this into a horror movie because he could be a serial killer easy. Dance. Yeah, only because I've never seen a snowy beach. Yeah, it's like snow at the beach. Of course he can't fix a flat tire. That makes sense that Jeremiah would not know how to fix a flat tire. In case you didn't realize, tire's done for. I hate you! Okay. Okay. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing for him. Okay. I'm, I'm not lifting it too high. The fact that he has the audacity to be like a bitch and he can't even change a flat. It's 100 degrees outside and if you would've just let me call AAA, they'd probably be here already. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, you're a horrible person, Jeremiah. For Conrad dumping you? Did you really not see that coming, Belly? Because I sure did. Close your eyes when you speak to me. I had Dad and Conrad sort of, but I needed you, and he, you just weren't there. You left me. <laughs> they are expecting a lot of this one teenage girl. You are dependent on her. You need to grow up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but like the fact that they're both like, I need you and I need you and we all need belly. It's like, no, like being like, you left me. Like, are you kidding me? Like she is one girl, leave her alone. You can be like, oh my God, I wish you would have been there for me too. Like I needed your support, but she's just one girl. Like go talk to Steven. That shot of him is horrible. Like they should not, they're choosing very interesting car shots and I don't like them. Shayla's in Europe with her parents all summer and so the gang's broken up, but I guess- Don't talk about Shayla. Don't ever talk about Shayla to me again. Don't talk about her to me. Cause it's the biggest, it's the biggest loss of this goddamn show is that they, they kicked her off. Cocoa powder on my face? No, no, just dirt. I mean, um, freckles. 
Ew. This is like, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment. I'm getting like super bad secondhand embarrassment and I usually don't. I usually love it. I'm getting like the feeling in my chest. It sucks. That's crazy. Oh, and it- Oh! Of course they're each other's invisible string. Of course they are. But it's also you could abuse Snow on the beach here. Also the way he's carrying her. Oh my god. Dying you to me. That is my invisible string for real. I'm gonna scream. I've already, I, I've screamed and I've scrumped. So. Yeah, it's cause you're cold hearted. For everyone else, maybe. Oh! But not for you. Not for you. I'm sick. They're too good, they're too good. I don't even remember the second book and I love this. Appear like that. When I call you, pick up your fucking phone. You're, pause. You're such a fucking, you are so infuriating for mixing their first time scene with this. I want that to be clear of how frustrating that is to me. They are mixing their like Twilight Breaking Dawn part two, finally having vampire sex scene-esque scene with their like, Fight! Like the thing is that I would love the scene separately. Like I love a freaking fight and I love a freaking intimate romantic first time scene. You know, that's like one of my favorites. I love first time scenes. I think they're wonderful. Why are we mixing it with a fight? I love seeing, I love having the full experience of a dramatic fight and I also love the full experience of a romantic first time scene. Let me experience those separately. Even one after the ch each other is fine, but don't mix them. I mean, unless, unless you don't want to. No, 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 I do. I really do. Oh my God, guys. Uh, this season freaking slaps. Like this season is so much better than the first one already. This is amazing. Pause, I'll just have it be known that the only sex sex scenes and okay by the way i want this to be s s clear that i was not begging for sex scenes from the summer i turned pretty that's like on the bottom list of things that i wanted from the summer i turned pretty but let it be known that the only sex scenes are like more intimate romantic scenes like this that we got from the first season was laurel hooking up with the other author and jeremiah doing like a weird boob grab like in the car so this is a major upgrade because not only is it like f well done they're having a very intimate scene on screen it's not too it's not too like graphic like i feel like the like laurel and the author's like sex scene was because it was like I, we could see them bumping and grinding and she was like moaning and it was like kind of like a lot for like I feel like the show that we were watching, granted, I think it's rated R because they do say fuck, but I just felt like that was a little bit off tone, right? This is like a very like romantic scene. It's very tender. It's very, um, it's wonderful. I don't know. I just can appreciate a good first time scene. Thank you so much. With the fire lighting the side of their face, it looks so good. And it's after they just got off the snowy beach. This is the same scene in Breaking Dawn Part 2. <laughs> and this is you taking care of it? Going AWOL, ditching school, not Fuck talking school. to us? school, I don't care. Connie, you have to go back <laughs> or you'll fail your class. <laughs> that delivery was like the funniest thing ever. I trust. I love them. <laughs> I love her though. Fuck school. <laughs> Fuck school. 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 Why did he say it like that? Look, I've been your number one supporter. Dude, love him. Like, he's everything to me. That was so freaking funny. And I know he didn't mean it to be funny. And that's what makes it even more funny. You couldn't have given him one more take. Just one more take, guys. I'm gonna use my trust to stump him for the house. 
talking to one of my mom's financial guys in the morning. That's the same plot as the freaking Kiss in Booth 3. They try to get the house back. Sorry, Laura, but you suck at taking pictures. Hey! <laughs> oh my god, her dress! She's so lover era. I must have left it in my dorm fridge. Oh, you suck. You forgot the corsage? Who the fuck are you? To get me two corsages next year to make up for it. Whatever you want. Oh my god. Like, you have a lover girl and you're not acting like a lover boy. I know the mom, but like, look how happy her mom is and he's like not happy. Like, be happy for her, your mom and her. Do you wanna go somewhere? Is he gonna break up? <gasps> he's gonna break up with her on her prom night. You're joking. Did I, did I do something? I like, please just go outside and talk. I'm like gonna cry. Like her just saying, did I do something just broke my fucking heart. That we're over? I mean, we are, aren't we? Just hurts. Don't, don't say anything. I'm gonna fucking cry. You, you were the one that was like. No, no. I'm crying, currently Belly crying. Way. Wait. Why am I crying so much? That just made me so sad. Why did that make me so sad? I don't know why I'm crying so much, but that just made me so sad. I don't know why I'm crying so much. I don't know. I think maybe I'm going through a hard time personally right now when it's coming out because this is emotional. Why did that just make me so sad? It's just like the look on her face, like the hurt that she felt, like looking at someone and just being like, I don't care if you forget about those little things. Like it doesn't, I care about how you're acting towards me. Like, I don't know why I'm crying so much guys. Like I, I actually, well, I do, because it's sad, and then Steven looking at her and seeing how sad she was. Why does this always happen? Like, this is like a two for two. Like, I can't win, guys. I just keep crying on camera. Like, it's actually, like, ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. Like, this shouldn't be happening to me right now. I don't know why it keeps happening. I don't care, actually. <laughs> Maybe I have a little bit more in common with Belly than I believe I do because that scene really just freaking got me. Oh my god, actually, I'm sick. Oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? Oh, hey. Is that for us? I'm sick. I'm actually sick to my stomach. Got it. Glad to know where I fall in the ranking of ex-girlfriends. Grow up. Go to hell. I should have known you'd be like this. What do you mean? I knew it was a bad idea starting something with... It was a huge mistake. break this down. I know more stuff is gonna happen. I know more stuff is gonna happen, but how in the world is she getting so much shit at like the next point? Like granted, like it's his mother's funeral, right? But also he literally broke up with her on her prom night and then was like jumping into other girls' arms. Like I, yeah, it boggles my mind that she is the one getting so much shit with the amount of shit that she also went through during this time period. Granted, I don't think she's like innocent. I don't think that she's like had the best reactions to every single thing, but oh my God, they are acting like she murdered their, they act like she killed Susanna. End of rant. I just find it ridiculous that everyone is just hating on this like girl. Like I just don't get it. Conrad, what's going on, man? Conrad? happening i mean i know what's happening to him but i'm like what was the tech oh sometimes 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 he just died come on i don't have an outro for this video because i was planning on episode four to include the outro with which came out the next week um so 
no outro for today. I hope you guys like this. Um, again, I will not be releasing the part two of this video until the strike is over. The only reason why I'm releasing this video is because I don't have a video for this week and this was the one that I was have been working on, have been writing, have been preparing for um, since before the strike started. So again, part two will not be released until the strike is over um, because of course I stand in solidarity with everyone who is um, striking down these companies because Without them, without the writers, without the actors, without everyone that's being treated so unfairly, I wouldn't be able to make commentaries and I wouldn't have uh, what I have today. So I owe everything to them. They're the backbone. They are everything and they deserve to be paid and treated properly um, for all the work that they do for film and TV shows. Without... And that is it for today, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, different videos coming out soon. Non-commentaries will be coming out soon. Old commentaries on old movies will be coming. But for now, this is the last current commentary that will be released on my channel for a while until the strike is completed and the actors and SAG is met with their proper pay and treatment. Bye!